to indicate the rules of nature. That is like a chart of a pebble dropped in some water. And the pebble drops in here and it starts to send rings out. Now, I don't suppose anybody ever bothered to, to check it, but if you take a photograph of those rings on the water, leave them about ten rings spread out, and photograph it, you've got something you can work on, like a chart. And if you measure the circumference of this one here, and multiply it by the cube root of pi, then this is the a, a, a circumference of this one. If you take the circumference of this one, and multiply it by the cube root of pi, it is the same measurement as this one. So it's increasing, all these rings are increasing one by one by the cube root of pi. And never alter that. That's the laws of nature. Now a funny thing happened too, that if you take the circumference, or rather the diameter, of the fifth ring, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, take the diameter of this fifth ring across here, it will be the circumference of the first one, the same measurement. So if you took the second ring, this sixth ring would have the same uh, diameter as the circumference of the first one. So every one to five, the diameter is the same as the circumference of the previous one, the small one. So you see, even they travel out, they expand, it's not accidental, it never is two different ways, it's always the same. The expansion of those rings on the water are no different to your radio waves. You see the radio waves coming out of the tower, they expand exactly the same. They multiply by the cube root of pi, a law of nature. You never alter that.